Ringer Four Star Playhouse presents Dick Powell, Charles Boyer, David Niven, Frank Lovejoy. Brought to you by your neighborhood Singer Sewing Centers from coast to coast and the more than 32,000 members of the Singer Organization who make, sell, and service Singer Sewing Machines for both industry and the home. Remember, Singer sells its products and services only through the Singer Sewing Centers, identified by the famous Red S trademark on the window. Don't ask me what his first name is. I never did find out. Oh, not that we didn't get to be very good friends. I'd heard about him, a lot of things about him. That he was honest as the day is long, but then he always worked short days. That he was tough on the outside. Some called him a hood. Some put a robin in front of it. But if you wanted something done, something special, you just looked him up. He was usually available for a price. And I had the price. Sent for me. If you're McGraw. I'm McGraw. How was the plane ride from Chicago? Bumpy, and it was a bus ride. I sent you a plane ticket. I cashed it in. That way, if I don't like the proposition, I've made car fare and. <laughs> you're McGraw, all right. And you, after I whistle, what do I call you? Lila. Just Lila. You mentioned that in your telegram. I might have taken the plane. Ah, too many calories. Glad you came across. Looks like it might be mutual. Well, shall we go? Where? My place is cozy up there. That's a fast. Oh, of course. Your retainer. It's a lot. You learn it. Unless, of course, you don't like the idea of working for me. Well, that might be developed. It's what I might have to do for this that curls my eyebrows. They say you do things for people. All kinds of things. Anything short of murder and physical labor. You like this job. It's easy. Yeah. All you have to do is stick with me. Stay close, never leave my side. Just a gigolo? With muscles. I need a bodyguard. Yeah, I imagine there are a lot of dames that like to see you dead. Okay. Who do we guard the body from? My husband. You want the court of human relations, not me. I don't look good in a triangle. It's not that way at all. We're separated. He doesn't want me to divorce him has threatened to kill me if I do, and he will. I know that he will. You really are afraid. Please, McGraw, you've got to help me. There's no one I can turn to. You said your place? My car's outside. Incidentally, what's the name of your ever loving husband? Louis. Louis Lamont. Just send me my unemployment insurance. Don't tell me you're afraid. Of Louis Lamont with a torch in one hand and a gun in the other? Yeah. They said you were tough. That you were afraid of nothing. Did they also mention I'd like to stay alive? Smith, too. Very common name, Smith. I've always had a lot of trouble with it. Even when I was pounding a beat, it never sounded like much. It 
it wasn't until they put Lieutenant in front of it that it got any distinction. You know what I mean? Lieutenant Smith. So you tell me you're a cop? Now, you can tell me something. Like what? Oh, like who you are, what you're doing in town. I'm a tourist. They came for the winter sports. In August? I like to be the first one. It's a weakness of mine. Well, if you're doing any skating with Lila Lamont, watch out for the thin ice. Thank you for your interest. Any friend of Lila Lamont's is of interest to me. I didn't say we were friends. Owen McGraw. Thought you didn't know my name. It's on the register. It's room 468, seven bucks a night. Anything else you'd like to know? Now that you mention it, yes. You wouldn't be a new trigger man imported by Louis Lamont, would you? <laughs> Try me again. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm so confused. I thought she said the Royal Hotel, but she's not there. What? My sister, she said that if... Oh, I think the hotel clerk can help you. Clerk? Oh, oh I don't know much about hotels. I... Come on, I'll take you over. Oh, thank you. I've just got to find her. She'll be worried about me. She wrote me to meet her, but I left the letter on my dresser, and now I don't know which hotel. This is awfully nice of you to go to this trouble. It's no trouble at all. No trouble at all. I just hope this is the hotel you want. Get some water. Oh, yes, sir. Hurry, will you? Yes, indeed. Here we are, sir. Thank you. She's gone. Oh, oh, my goodness. What do you suppose could have happened? Do you think we ought to call the police? You can get your merit badge later. When's the next bus to Chicago? Oh, Chicago. Well, I, I think it's quite early in the morning. Let me see. Yes, here we are, uh, 5.30. Okay, I'll pay my bill now. Certainly, sir. Just a moment. McGraw, McGraw, McGraw. Ah, uh, here we are. Uh, there you are, sir. I, I do hope the little old lady's going to be all right. The helpless little old lady. Why, what's the matter, sir? My pocket's been picked. Picked? Picked, robbed. Something bothering you, McGraw? No, 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 everything is great. A cop is in there, and I get my wallet lifted right in the middle of the lobby. How did it happen? It was a setup. I brought her over to the counter. Her accomplice lifted the purse. She fainted. When I took her over to the chair, she must have lifted my wallet. Did you see any of this? Oh, no, sir. I didn't see a thing. What'd she look like? She's just an ordinary little old lady. An ordinary little old lady? I thought you were from the big city. That all you got to say? Aren't you going to an awful lot of trouble just to beat a hotel bill? I'll take my key. Oh, oh, yes, sir, you're kidding. Close the door. You took your time. I've been waiting for you. Who are you? What are you doing here? You want your wallet back, don't you? My wallet? What kind of a racket is this? You're supposed to come with me. Who says? I says. You got an impressive argument. All right, then. We go. Just a minute. Where? You'll see. What have I got to lose? I'm broke anyway. The back way. Good evening, sir. May I take your hat? Not with your talent. Why, thank you, sir. It's nice to know I've still got the touch. Yes, you've got the touch. Oh, I couldn't have done it all alone, sir. You were an awfully good subject, so, so trusting and kind. Well, thank you, thank you. Now that we've exhausted the compliments, may I have my wallet? Oh, well, I'd like to, sir, but it's out of my hands. What's the uh, play here? I haven't got a program. I can't follow this. Bring him in here. Well, this rounds out the crew of the Jolly Roger. You'll get your wallet when you cooperate. My wallet isn't worth anything. 
So used to being thin, I wouldn't know how to act with money. You weren't very polite tonight. You turned the lady down. When a lady offers you a proposition, it's not polite to turn her down. A lady? You mean Lila Lamont? Don't make no cracks about Lila. You know, I may be a little slow, but what's my wallet got to do with her? Lila said she wanted you. We're going to see she gets what she wants. You cooperate with her, or who knows, your wallet might turn up just any place. At a holdup, or maybe on a stiff in the morgue. Shakedown. No, insurance. Well, the policy's lapsed. There's no more premiums. Now, do I get my wallet back, or do I knock your teeth in? Freddie, what are you doing to McGraw? If you wanted a date with me, you didn't have to go to all this trouble. Give him his wallet back, Freddie. I haven't got it. Martha. I can imagine what you must be thinking about me. Thinking quite a few things about you, baby. Now go, all of you. You've caused me enough embarrassment. I don't know what to say. Well, you might begin by explaining the cast of characters. Martha's my maid. Gus drives the car. Gus is the, uh, the big one? Yes. The little one. Freddie, he does odd jobs. Yes, I should say he does. Do you get custody of the unholy three in the divorce? You won't hold this against them, will you? They're devoted to me. Imagine Martha breaking her parole just to bring you to me. You mean to tell me you didn't know anything about this pickpocket routine? You don't think I'd force you to work for me if you didn't want to, do you? I've got some pride. It's not all you've got, baby. Would you like a drink? You expecting someone? I was going to have a drink with Freddy. Not very particular who you drink with, are you? No, I'm not, am I? <laughs> Very dry, you like it. It's been sweetened. <clears throat> as long as you're here, you uh, might as well stay and make yourself comfortable. Not too comfortable. Just as you say. Got to turn down the lights. I like to see where I'm going. <clears throat> yes, Gus. Did you want something? Well, no, Lila. I... Go to your room. Go to bed. I just want to be sure you're all right. I'm fine. Good night, Gus. You need a bodyguard. I need a bodyguard with brains. Interesting little group you have around you. I like them. I like all the people around me. Mm. I gotta go. Why must you go? I've got a bus to catch. A man like you shouldn't be riding around on buses. A man like you should find a nice, comfortable spot and stay there. For a girl that's afraid of her life, you're pretty relaxed. Let's not talk about it. I don't want to bore you with my troubles. Live, laugh, and be merry because tomorrow we die. Hmm? You don't believe me, do you? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? Don't go. I'll send you a postcard. I've got a postcard. Yes, that's the trouble. You've got a lot. I can't afford any of it. Wait. If you must go, at least let me drive you. All right. someplace for a nightcap. Been to every place in town. What's left to see? Stick around, McGraw. I'm sorry. I got a bus schedule to meet. <laughs> Husband Louie? I told you you wanted to kill me. Is 
shooting about? Well, Johnny come lately. What are you doing in the alley? I took a shortcut home. I thought you'd gone to your room. I didn't know that I needed a pass to go out. What do you do, haunt that hotel? Just thought I'd stick around. Didn't want you to walk out without paying your bill. <laughs> what a great cop you are. You're worrying about a two-bit hotel bill and the girl's being shot at. Girl? What girl? Lila Lamont, right in that convertible. Protection. From what I've seen of some of the local police, I can understand why. Protection from what? Murder. Maybe you don't consider that important in this town. All right, simmer down. Just give me the facts. Who did the shooting? Her husband. Who else? Louis Lamont? Louis Lamont. Threatened to kill her to keep her from divorcing him. I know, I didn't believe it at first either. But those bullets were real. You should have stuck to your original thought. What? If Louis Lamont's the one who fired those shots a few minutes ago, he must have used a telescopic sight. What do you mean? He's in jail. In jail? In Texas, El Paso, on an income tax evasion rap. He was trying to get out of the country, but the federal boys picked him up last night at the border. She told me that he was... Oh, the duplicity of the female of the species. You did say it was Lila Lamont they were shooting at. Keep your head clear, McGraw. Buster, if we're going to share this room, you might as well pay your share of rent. Get out of town. Why? Never mind why. Just get out. What a coincidence. I just decided to stay. We don't need you. But Lila does. I can take care of Lila. I took care of her before. She don't need you. You didn't talk like that the last time you were here. Get out of town. You're the one that shot at me? I don't shoot at nobody. I don't need a gun. I got these. A lot of guys found that out. They say you're going to leave town right now. I'm not ready, though. I don't want you around Lila. You're just like the rest of them. You're no good for her. You're going to leave her alone. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Send an ice bag up to my room. Certainly, sir. Ice bag? She's not here. She will be. Maybe you better come back some other time. Lila, Mrs. Lamont will be very angry. Well, I'll try to keep her happy. Don't go. Let's you and I get acquainted. I'm busy. Yes, you've been real busy tonight, haven't you? Ah, oh, please. I understand you're an alumnus of one of our better Bastilles. Parolee, isn't it? Look, you got your wallet back. I didn't keep anything. Who shot at me? I don't know. Well, I guess women prisoners get a lot of privileges. Ah, oh, please, Mr. McGraw. I didn't want to take your wallet, but Lila's been so good to me, I just had to do it for her. I've been going straight. Honest, I have. I don't know very much. Why did Lila send for me? I don't know. Why would Louis Lamont want to kill his wife? Louis? Why, he wouldn't want to kill Lila. He loved her. They were happy together until he came along. Hey, who? Come on, Martha. You might as well tell me. I'm easier to talk to than the parole board. Till who came along? Freddy. Sound like you don't like him very much. Why? You work very well together. Well, I wouldn't with him. I wouldn't wipe my shoes on him if it wasn't for Lila. He's no good. Why, he's always been after her. He'd have done anything to get her. But she wouldn't look at him. Now when I see them together, it makes me sick. After the way he double-crossed Louie? Double-crossed? Informed on him. Went to the income tax people. Told him Louie wasn't declaring all his income. Gave them evidence. What's that got to do with me? Mr. McGraw, you're a nice man. Now, you go away from here and stay away before something terrible happens. Nice, wholesome bunch of people. 
Maybe you're right, Grandma. Night. You missed him by a mile. I had him set up for you like a clay duck. Why'd you let him kiss you? What did you expect me to do? I had to keep him interested. What's the matter with you anyway? I don't know. The more I think about it. Oh, so that's it. That's why you missed him. You're afraid. What if something goes wrong? What can go wrong? It's Louie's gun, isn't it? I told you how Louie was when he was here this morning. He was wild. He threatened to kill the man I left him for. You don't want him to find out it's you, do you? I've been seen all over town with McGraw tonight. I've set him up for it. All you have to do is shoot him, and Louie takes the rap for it. There isn't any danger to you. They can't tie you into it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but... Of course. If you're not man enough. I didn't say I wouldn't do it. Oh, Lila. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I love you, Freddy. When this is over, you and I'll be together. But we've got to work and work fast, darling. Now, you've got Louie's gun. I'll get McCraw back here. I'll call him. He'll come. Got your message. McGraw. What happened to you, baby? I thought we had a date for the night. All right, sucker. I was sorry this happened, McGraw. In an odd way, I was becoming attached to you. I was kind of getting attached to you, too. Get away from him, Lila. It's a nice little scheme. Kill me with Louie's gun, wipe the prints off. Louie gets the chair, and you get the spoils. You listen good. You call me a sucker, amigo. You're the prize patsy. What is that supposed to mean? I'll give it to you in a capsule so it won't taste so bad. You kill me and you'll fry for it because Louie's got an ironclad alibi for tonight. What does he mean by that, Lila? Don't pay any attention to him. He's just stalling for time, Freddy. It means she lied to you, Freddy. She couldn't possibly have seen him this morning because since last night, Louie's been in jail in Texas. Jail? Where did you think he was, sir? Waiting for you safely across the border as per plan? Shoot him, Freddy. Kill him. You told me you saw Louie this morning. Kill him, shoot him. Dig your own grave. They're getting even with you for ratting to the Treasury Department. She doesn't love you, Freddy. She loves Louie. Ask her. Why should I never cross you, Freddy? I left Louie for you, didn't I? I love you, Freddy. You know that. I love you. Ask her about Gus. Gus? What about Gus? Gus is in love with her. Didn't you know that? Gus, that blob. I wouldn't wipe my feet on him. He's of use to me. You know that, Freddy. Oh, you're kidding, McGraw. Lala wouldn't go for that muscle-bound dummy. Gus. Loves me. Me. Get away from me, Gus. I don't want to shoot you. She loves me. She loves me. No, Gus. It's a nice little package. One man dead and the other one trussed up for the gas chamber. I wouldn't really have let him kill you, McCraw. Sure. Just like you wouldn't kill me. Nah. You and I, we get along. Why don't we go away somewhere? Just you and me. I like an old-fashioned girl. You can't blame this on me. I had nothing to do with it. Freddie killed Gus. There's nothing they can do, nothing. Ever hear of an accessory? What? Get me the police. You stinker! Now don't you get clever and use that bus ticket. I may leave town, not till somebody pays for this hat. Yeah, I met McGraw all right. He was just a name to me in the beginning. A guy, Mr. X. A plan that didn't come off. I had it all figured out. But one thing I didn't figure on, McGraw. He rubs off on you. Don't forget of 